A Beaumont family wants to know what really happened to their loved one nearly three years ago. Investigators think there were multiple mm -hmm. people involved in her disappearance and murder. But as 12 News reporter Jordan Foster found, police are at a standstill. Cordy Simmons' body was found tied up and set on fire just days before her 50th birthday. Her sister Diane Green has hope that investigators will get the information they need to solve this cold case. Investigators say the body of a woman was found. Jefferson County Sheriff's deputies are investigating a burned body. That's where the body was left scorched. Some of the grass still burnt. The closest house was almost a mile away. I really miss my sister. I, I can't even tell you how much I miss her. It's just been devastating. A debt this family is still struggling to understand. A lot of times I cry myself to sleep, you know, and I, it still hurts. It hurts even more because we don't know who done it or why. Diane Green is the sister of Cordy Simmons. On October 26, 2016, she got the news that would completely change her life. Someone was preparing to turn on Old Sarah Lake Road when they saw what they thought was a mannequin that had been set on fire. After Jefferson County Sheriff used fire extinguishers to put out the blaze, they realized it was something much worse. It was Cordy's body burning. It's just amazing how uh, she could just be that person and, and something like this just happened to her. The fire had done a l extensive damage to the body. It's a murder Jefferson County Sheriff investigators are still piecing together almost three years later. We still don't know who killed Cordy Simmons. Captain Jeff Chatney started working with the Sheriff's Office after Cordy's murder, but this case has become a primary focus. He's determined to solve it. This was somebody's mother, somebody's sister, somebody's daughter. You know, it's, you know, the answer is we can't give to the family for that final closure. And, you know, they, they really need that. They desperately need that to go on with their lives. The autopsy revealed Cordy died before her body was set on fire. Detectives say she was choked to death, and they believe there was more than one person involved. She was probably uh, killed somewhere else at another location, and the body was dumped there and set ablaze to destroy evidence. Cordy was last seen the night before in Beaumont with her brother. Her sister Diane, who was working at the time, wishes there was more she could have done to help. I used to know everything she did, everywhere she went, and who she was with, and who she was hanging with. But I started working, and she started drifting away, and and uh, I, I just don't know. I just don't know who she was hanging with. Today, this cross sits on Old Sour Lake Road as a reminder of what happened to Cordy that day. She was 49 when her life was taken away from her. She was a mom and a grandmother. Diane says all she wants is for investigators to find the people responsible for killing her best friend. That's the day I live to see. I'm waiting, trusting God, because I, I believe that they are gonna find them. You know, and I say them because she was a fighter. Diane says to this day, she still hasn't been on Old Sarah Lake Road where her sister's body was found. And she says she has no plans on going until after the person who did this is put behind bars. Jordan Foster, 12 News.